Hi everyone, Helen with you today. Today I'm going to be showing you how, how to do the half double crochet slip stitch. As you can see from this sample, it's um, got quite a nice ribbon effect to it when, when you use it in back loop only. Um, and a lot of designers at the moment are using it in garments. Um, I can see it, it would be a nice alternative for um, ribbing around the bottom of a beanie or a cardigan or um, whatever you like really. So it's a nice easy stitch, a nice alternative to the half double crochet if you've used that a lot lately. And I'll show you how to how to work that now. So I've got my foundation row here. I've just done um, a row of half double crochets to start. And what I'm going to do is, just for my sample, I'm going to work one. So the half double crochet slip stitch. Very simple to do once you've got the half double crochet down. So just to review the half double crochet, you've already got one loop on your hook. You would yarn over insert your hook into the required stitch yarn over pull through and then to work the half double crochet you would yarn over and pull through all three and that would be a half double crochet worked but for the half double crochet slip stitch it's almost the same so you yarn over I'm going to work into back loops only just to show you how the ribbing effect works so we've yarned over, insert your hook into that back loop only, yarn over, pull through. Now instead of doing the yarn over, pull through, all three loops on your hook, you're going to take this one that you've just done and pull it through the first two. Just like so. There we go. And that's the half double crochet slip stitch. So we'll do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. And then you take that last loop that you've just pulled through and you pull it through the first two loops on your hook so you're left with one loop. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, into that next stitch, yarn over and pull through and then we're just going to take that third loop on the hook and pull it through the first two and we'd repeat that for as many stitches as the pattern requires. Now if you just bear with me a moment I'll just quickly get to the end of this row so you can see there yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over pull through and pull through all two loops. So as with any stitch when you work in rows um, I just want to point out how this works so that's the last stitch so I'll do my chain one and turn. So when you turn I've worked this with chunky yarn so you can see it definitely you can see at the top there is the front loop and the back loop and the third loops quite prominent on the front of the work so when you work back loop only it keeps your front loop and your third loop pushed forward to give that beautiful ribbing effect if you can see there so just run through it one more time Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and then we're going to take that third loop and we're going to pull it through the first two and that is stitch completed. Yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and then pull through the first two loops on your hook and that really is all there is to the half double crochet slip stitch. You can see we're getting that beautiful ribbing effect. If you just bear with me a moment I'll just do a couple more rows um, so that you can see it 
more clearly the texture. So yeah, I'm trying to do this quite slowly so you can see how I'm working this stitch. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and then pull through the first two loops. So it is quite a simple stitch. It is a nice alternative to the half double crochet back loop only. Um, and there you go, you can see that we're getting that beautiful ribbing effect from that. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Um, if you haven't already, it would be really lovely if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, just hit that little bell icon to make sure that you don't miss any new videos or tutorials that we'll be uploading. Um, and thank you very much for joining us. Have a lovely day. Bye.